This video is made for adult collectors because I'm this toy dookie. We need to take control of this ship. Combaticons, combine into Bruticus. So, oh, EA is launched in front of my script. I don't know. Go away, EA. So, combiners have been real rough up until Combiner Wars. It was really slim pickings for official combiners, anyways. You had the Energon ones, some G1 ones, and that was pretty much it up until this came out. And oh boy, is this a rough set. This is Brawl, Blast Off, Onslaught, Vortex, and Swindle, or as I like to call them, Crab, Mushroom, Potato, Slug, and a Car. These robots are. Well, I mean, they look like this, and they don't look great. Generations 2012 had a lot of issues that really hit the toys hard, and we ended up getting old gamer toys that just aren't very good. Case in point, this set, which I think suffers the worst from not only all of them being deluxes, but also having to be Scramble City. They didn't do that in the game, but that's mainly so that they can make the Ruination set later, because they did. So let's start with, uh, I don't know, Vortex. He's my least favorite, because he doesn't have anything special going for it, whether it be good or bad. I mean, he has some bad aspects to him. Not a lot of things that make him fun, though, in comparison to the rest. Colors are neat, and the face on the front of his chest is neat. The sword guns are cool, but the propeller on his arm is cumbersome. The elbows are super dumb. The legs look funky, and he has no feet. He's just odd. Uh, I noticed while filming this, there's like the weird, this weird gouge in his face. Anyways. Head can only rotate about that far. I can look up that far though, uh, but the little collar bits get in the way. Shoulders on a ball joint. You can technically use this if you want to. They can go in and out. You have bicep rotation, that weird low elbow joint that only bends about that far. And then this gets in the way all the time. You have waist joint. The hip skirt is one piece and it can move up all the way to come at legs go forward, back, in and out, thigh rotation double jointed knees, which is very, very nice. And there's there's nothing at the, there's nothing at the feet, because there's no feet. Well, that's, that's this vortex. Um. Now let's get him out of here so we can talk about the rest of the toys, because they all have something fun to do with them. Brawl actually looks great. Like, I love the way he looks. The tooling and the color separation, I'd say, is a bit bland. But I really like the shaping and the feel of this figure. Like, the plastic from time to time wasn't great, but it, this feels pretty okay. It feels better than Vortex. He has no heels and feet that don't lock in, so it's quite annoying to stand. He comes with a tiny little gun that's a bit pitiful for a guy that turns into a tank, but otherwise, I do like how this whole thing works. Backpack's a bit much, though. Brawl's gonna fall over a lot while doing this, probably. So he actually has quite a lot of articulation. Like, not in the places you would expect, there's no ankle tilts, there's no proper waist joint, there's no wrist swivels, but he has other things. So the head's on a ball joint, it's really hard to get in there, and then the plate sometimes likes to just start to push into the body, so you gotta be careful there. Shoulders can rotate, they can do a full 360, they go in and out at this joint. Butterfly joints, Brawl does have dedicated butterfly joints for the transformation into foot mode, but they are there. You have ball jointed elbows which allow for a bend and a wrist swivel. He has an ab crunch. Yep, that, that is an ab crunch, because again, combined mode stuff. Uh, you have this rocker joint, which I guess you could consider a waist swivel, sort of. The legs can go forward, they can go back a little bit, they can go in and out. You have cannons come off, you have thigh rotation, you have a single jointed knee that bends all the way, and then as I said, the feet don't lock in, so they just move all the time. This one's folded in. But yeah, he's so poseable, which is just weird. And then he does that. Onslaught looks good from the front till you notice his PP, and that's when you start to notice the imperfections. He looks wonky. I think that's the only thing I can say to describe this figure is the, it's the word wonky. But that's what makes it funny to me. He's also very empty and hollow at the back, and his gun looks like this, which is just bruh. So, camera's too low. So, Onslaught is stupid, and I think he's probably the, the worst at posing because he has to be a torso and he's only a deluxe. 
So the head can can rotate at a very weird axis. It's on a ball joint, but you can't really do much with it. Shoulders can rotate that far forward and that far back. There are stopping points in here because haha, <laughs> combined mode shoulders. They go in and out there. That, that's so, such a stupid way of doing it. Bicep rotation, ratcheted elbows for some reason, nothing at the wrist. Waist rotation, hips are ratcheted, really strong. Eh, eh, eh. They go forward oh, and back, in and out. You got thigh rotation, ah, ah, ah. there we go. You got that much bend at the knee and then nothing else. Oh, knee, ah, there we go. Swindle actually looks good from the front. Like the proportions are a tad bit off, but he looks neat. Just don't look at him from behind because that's a whole other story from the back. But he looks chunky and is really the only one of the set that carries the game's chunkier aesthetic over into toy form pretty well. His gun also looks like something I'd see in the game, which is actually quite nice. Swindle also kind of sucks at posing, but not as bad as Onslaught. Head can rotate. Um, it's such a small cavity in there to get your fingers in. Uh, shoulders can do a full 360. These don't lock in. They can only go out about that far. You got elbow ball joints with bicep rotation waist joint, hips can go forward and back, they can go in and out, thigh rotation, the knee that is so high up that it doesn't really accomplish much, and the toes can move down. That's, it. yeah, and he doesn't look dynamic in anything because he's built like a potato. Blastoff is the only one that feels like it could be plausible as a standalone deluxe back in 2012. Like these were released individually as well as in box sets, but like if they could only make one and they made this Blastoff, I feel like it would work as just a regular toy without the combining gimmick. Not only does it look complete and refined, but it also handles complete and refined. And from the back, it looks pretty filled in. It also looks great in poses too, just due to the way that they've constructed the joints around it and the armor panels. So Blastoff's posing is weird, but it's also the most dynamic of the three. Uh, you got head rotation only. It's on a ball joint, I think. It, it moves up and down slightly, but that's about it. Shoulders rotate it on this weird joint, but they do rotate. Um, they don't really go in and out much here, but you sort of have to like position the arm backwards to get it to go out. You got a hinge and an elbow joint, bicep rotation. It's the arms that are really the only wonky part because the legs can go forward, back, in and out, thigh rotation, knee bends more than 90 degrees out of focus. There's just nothing at the feet. But because of all this dynamic nature and how the shoulder pads sort of cover up the ugly joints, you can make him look like a sort of cartoon character style when he goes to do his posing. So the set as a whole ain't great. It looks weird and well, it, it's just this. All right, let's turn these five idiots into thingies. Because they all just turn into thingies. We'll get... We'll do him first. So Vortex is, it, it's weird. You fold his head into the back, you flip this up, you then rotate the arms and sort of just like, bring this around. I always forget what orientation is supposed to be that way. That's the orientation it's supposed to be in. Rotate the waist, bring that forward, bring this out, bend it in, forget which way it's supposed to be because you're stupid like me, there we go. I did it, clip this together, and over the tail, rotate that inward, now we do the legs, fold this out, bring out the little pee pee thing, rotate this forward, ah, and there you have helicopter, and yeah, I'm not a fan of how that gun sort of just droops, oh, and split the propellers, helicopter, yay! Let's do Onslaught now, because he's the closest to me. Broken peg in the foot, I'll talk about that later. Bring the head in. Make sure it's in focus. Rotate the arms so that the wheel arches are facing forward. Bend these in and just bring this over. Now these will fit into little slots right there, so you just pop them in that. I didn't know that, because the instructions aren't super clear on that. Excuse me. Now the legs. The waist here, again, instructions not super duper clear on how this is supposed to work, so you bring this around, right? And you sort of just clip it in to place. This hip skirt folds in on itself and then pegs into the legs. Like so. And oh, don't unpeg the head. Then you bring this up 
and then the arms come undone. And there you have his vehicle. You can, I, I sort of just leave this here as well because it just makes everything look 10 times better because it covers up the arms, but it is stressing. So that's going to break someday. But there you go, Onslaught. I don't mind that, honestly. I actually kind of like what Onslaught turns into. Let's do Swindle next. Focus on Swindle. There we go. Get his gun out of his hand. You rotate these, like so. And then rotate his torso, unpeg his torso. Forget which orientation those are supposed to be. There we go. You peg his legs together. Bring them up, rotate, the, no, don't rotate the bicep. The arms bend the reverse way, bring this in, those go up, and then this pegs into the gap for the ball joint in the leg, like that. Just do the same thing on this side here. Peg it in, make sure everything's oriented properly. There we go. Fold the head in, fold, fold the head, fold the head in. Flip in, you idiot. There we go. And then just peg this in to that. Hold the feet down. We're going to plug the gun in on top. And swindle in his very brightly yellowed th thing. Now we'll do Brawl, who's already starting to transform himself. Brawl's transformation is actually quite involved for what for like how this set is. And it's, it's very, very cool. So to start with, you bring the arms up. You just sort of peg them in. Ah! Fold it in the fist. Do the same on this side. Peg it in. Fold it in the fist. Rotate this section in. Like so. Get it in there. Get, get in there. Come on. There we go. And then you just sort of peg these to get peg these together and into the torso like so. Bring all that down. This is supposed to peg in, but it's really annoying, so I just don't do it. And there's tank mode. Now, one thing that I did notice is that you can technically do the spider tank as well by untabbing these and rotating these down like that. Oh, you're supposed to push his head in too. And then you take this section, you move it up, you bring the legs out back here and you bring them down like this and then rotate the turret. Spider tank mode, which shows up for one sequence in Fall of Cybertron and that's about it, but it's still there, you can do it. You can do it and then getting back is super easy. We'll worry about that later. Let's do Blast Off, my favorite deluxe of this set. Get the guns out of his hand. His transformation is really fun. Wow, I sound congested. Because you just sort of like collapse, rip the arm completely off. Don't do that. Ah, you collapse the arms up into the torso and then unpeg them. They swing back around. Peg it together in focus. There we go. Peg it together. And then peg it in to the body. And then you bring the legs up and the accordion in and click into place. Alt modes are where these shine. They look awesome in their alternate modes. Inaccurate colors aside, I think visually this is a nice looking thing. It's a neat, cohesive enough team, though Blastoff and Onslaught lack some of the same vibrance as the rest of the set. It just, I love the alt modes. They just work so well. Now the main attraction though. That's the combined mode. Let oh god, let's just get into that mess. Ow! All right, it's combining time, and it's easier to go from alt modes to combined modes. So let's get oh boy, let's get started, shall we? We'll do the legs first. So swindle, very easy. We're just gonna remove the cannon. Bring out his foot. Open this up. Rotate out the combiner peg. And then bring this in and peg it in on the interior pegs, as opposed to the exterior ones for alt mode. That sort of flares out the leg like the, well, the D-pad like that. I also like to just fold those in. That's what I like to do, but he's done. Brawl, again, more involved. You bring this, well, first of all, you unpeg this whole section and bring it out. 
unpeg his gun as well. Peg the foot in just like so. Then you want to bring out the combiner joint, take these sections, bring them back, and they will peg into the foot because the foot just is gonna wiggle like this and he'll fall over. So you peg that into place, and there you have that leg pretty much all done. Now let's do onslaught. Unpeg the gun, bring the arms out, bring this whole assembly down, rotate the Bruticus head over, rotate the waist, unpeg the crotch section and bring it up, rotate this down, fold the arms around and in. They just sort of, sort of sit back there like that, rotate this up. And there you have torso. Now let's plug it into the legs. Um, I'm gonna put Brawl on this side, because I don't care. Now this is a bit annoying, because this joint is, oh, it's really stiff to get these in. Ah, and then it's really hard to get them back out. This is before the invention of the Combiner Wars joint, which is just such a better joint system. Oh, there we go. It's always scary and nerve wracking every time I peg that in. But now we have Bruticus standing up. Let's do the arms. Uh, what's this guy's name? Vortex. Ah! Without dropping Vortex, you unpeg the weapons. Unpeg the front, you're gonna flip out the hand and fold up the gun. Like so. Then you're going to accordion this entire assembly out and peg it into place. Fold the propellers up, fold up the shoulder, and flip the arm around. There you go. That is a Bruticus arm. Now blast off and his his one weakness, his combined mode. He is definitely the worst looking of the combined modes. Because you unpeg the legs, which is a pain in the ass to do, by the way. There we go. Unpeg the legs. Now you open this up and rotate it around like so. Flip this out, flip out the thumb, because I'm going to go with him on the right side. Then you fold the combiner peg down. Now we bring Bruticus back in. Let me move up. And then peg that into there. And then peg that into there. Without him going to do the splits. Something's not right. He feels a bit off. He's leaning to one side. That's come unpegged. You know when I was looking at the robots and the vehicles of these guys and each one had some redeeming qualities to them? This doesn't have that. It's a shame because the design in the game is my favorite design for Bruticus, but here it's just all noodles. One arm's too long, one arm's too wonky, one leg is funky, one leg is just a car, the torso is prone to breaking because of how thin the plastics were back then. When people say the plastics today ain't great, it's, it's a lot better than 2012 plastic. 2012, oh god, 2012, 2014, that plastic was not fun. This thing feels uncomfortable. It's just not fun to look at or to pose or to hold because those hips are too tight and you try to bend them, you end up breaking the knees because I did that. And the gorilla arms and the other arm uh, and the elbows are so low. It's practically just a wrist joint on Vortex. It's not great. And then there's the weapon, which, okay, yeah, that's kind of cool how it all combines and how customizable it is. This is my favorite configuration, but you could do so many different configurations with it. I actually quite like that. And there are plenty of upgrades out there to make him look better. I'm planning on finding the Boosticus set at some point because it looks nice. But I'm, the Military Titans looks a lot better, but it's way too expensive for me. Oh man, this combined mode does not do any articulation favors at all. Head can rotate. That's about it. Shoulders, you have to hold them here, otherwise these will start to rotate. Shoulders, it's not supposed to rotate at the joint. It's supposed to rotate at the shoulder itself. There you go, in and out on both sides. Oh, he's doing the splits. Uh, this side has an elbow, a bicep swivel, and everything likes to come on tab. This side has a bicep swivel and a gorilla arm. Kind of annoying. Uh, he does have a waist joint, which is pretty neat. Hips, to forget about it, because of the way that this hip skirt works. This has to like move out of the way to accommodate leg motion forward and back, and it only goes down. So it's really difficult, and on top of that, the ratchets are so strong that I went to bend this leg and it snapped that peg off. So that 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 that's on me, kind of, but that ratchet is way too tight. But they do go out, which is really loose, and he likes to do the splits every once in a while. That's come undone. 
every once in a while. Thigh rotation, knee bends 90 degrees, and that's it. As Burdick is doing the Jesus pose, hoping that he can be saved. Because he cannot. Because he's a horrible toy. So yeah. Don't. There will likely be a Gamer Edition one in the next 5 to 10 years. I mean, Hasbro has stated as such at San Diego Comic-Con that they want to do Bruticus. And it's definitely going to be better than this. If you want a goofy AHA combiner, then yeah, get this for cheap. But otherwise, please pass on it. It's, it's not worth it. Maybe some of the individual toys are worth it. Like I would say Vortex, Brawl, maybe Onslaught. But as a whole set, it's not the greatest. But that's my look at Follow Cybertron Bruticus. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.